What's up, Spikes? We're back with another product review. Uh, you may have noticed for the past couple videos, we've had some ads in front of our videos for a product called Cubamajigs. And uh, I just wanted to spend some time today and let you know a little bit more about what that is. Um, so our friends over at Cardamajigs actually reached out to us and wanted to sponsor us to tell you more about Cubamajigs. They have a series two that's coming out and uh, there's actually an active Kickstarter right now. So if you want to get these, these are new arts and they've redone the design a little bit. I'll get into more about what the actual design changes were, but uh, they do have an active Kickstarter right now. Uh, we'll put the link either probably in the description and on screen here if you want to go check them out. And uh, I think it's probably best for me to just go into the product, show you what it is and explain some of the changes from the previous version. So let's get into it. So uh, from the very start, what you're going to get if you do back the Kickstarter, or if you just buy this after the fact, if you're doing this after the Kickstarter is over, uh, they come in packs of 10. And what these are supposed to do, they're plastic boxes to protect your cards uh, in packs of 15 uh, for cubing purposes, for um, other TCG games. Uh, I know that Magic isn't the only game that uses like a cube style draft. Um, so if you wanted something like that for your cube, for whichever TCG you play, uh, or for really any board game that has cards that need to be separated out uh, and their standard TCG size, these would be a perfect option for that as well. So uh, each of them does come with this 400 count box and you can get a preview of what the art looks like on each of the boxes. Uh, this is Twisted Maelstrom and uh, the new arts that they have are absolutely gorgeous. They have uh, 30 plus pieces of art from various artists. They're all real like magic artists, so it is a, a big deal for them. Um, but uh, yeah, so here's an example of what they actually look like. Uh, so they are these tiny little plastic boxes and they have a sealing, it's like a self-sealing mechanism here. Uh, they just sort of clip together. And uh, one of the big things about the Series 2 versus uh, the Series 1 is that these, you'll note, actually come pre-assembled. Uh, previously, we actually do have an example here of the Series 1. They were flat packed, which obviously is better for shipping, but uh, they are a little bit finicky to put together. So they've uh, graciously decided to streamline that process and assemble them for you. Uh, you will note, you can maybe see it on here. I'll hold it here. Uh, there is also a plastic film that is on this one as well as on the new things. So it does kind of look once I've opened this that it's a little bit damaged. That is actually just the plastic cover. So you take those off and they're still going to be perfectly fine. Um, so once you open them up, they do open from both sides. So you can kind of load your cards in wherever they need to go. Uh, and then once you're done with that, you can just reseal it. I, I think it's a little bit more useful to just do the, uh, the top tab and then you just pop it open and then you have access to your cards for when you're cubing. So I do have these uh, two packs that I've actually prepared earlier um, with some cards in them, just to show you an idea of uh, how they open, how you can get the cards out, and how many cards can fit in depending on your uh, sleeving process. So these here, uh, these are uh, double sleeved in uh, Dragon Shields. And uh, as you can see, that was pretty easy to take out and you can put them back in, simple as that. So it, you don't have to worry about uh, mangling your cards at all. Uh, they, the process of actually putting them in and taking them out is very easy. This one, I'm very surprised that this worked as well as it did. Um, these are uh, katana sleeves, if you're familiar with those, and these are actually double sleeved in perfect hards. Um, so they are usually a lot more of a chore to get into uh, deck protection things, but this is 15 double sleeved cards in perfect hards. And uh, it does take a little bit of finagling. Sometimes the perfect cards can um, retain a little bit of air, but even then super, super easy. You're able to just put that back together. I'm not used to this uh, closure system quite yet, but I mean, once you uh, have a little bit more experience with them, it's a nice, easy, quick process. So in addition to these here with this art, this is Twisted Maelstrom by Greg Hildebrandt. Uh, in addition to these, the basic um, backer goal comes with that art, uh, as well as uh, Power Gems by Lena Richards. We have Gaia in Bloom by Omar Rian. Rian, sorry. Uh, we have Walk of the Ages by Milivaj Saren. And we have uh, one of my personal favorites, honestly, um, Scorched Lotus by Donato Giancola. I'm a big fan of Donato Giancola's work. Not to say that the other ones aren't fantastic as well, but you know, pays to have a preference. 
So something else that I think is really cool about this Kickstarter is depending on what uh, level you d decide to back at, uh, you can get either a pack of these Cuba Majigs or multiple packs if you decide to pledge a little bit more. You can also get something called a Potamajig, which is similar to the holiday gift box, if you know what that is. Um, it allows you to store uh, either six packs uh, of these Cuba Majigs per slot, and there are nine slots, or uh, something else that they did want to mention is that each of the slots actually fits a fully sleeved commander deck. So if you have a bunch of commander decks, if you have you know nine of them that you need to carry around, then that's a great option for them. It's a very hefty box, uh, very similar to like a board game box. Um, so great protection for that sort of thing. Uh, the other thing that you can get with the uh, with the Kickstarter is you can actually get add-ons. And the three add-ons that they've uh, they've advertised so far are tokens. You can get a pack of 50 tokens. You can get uh, pencils, which actually fit inside a Cuba Majig. 12 pencils will fit inside of a Cuba Majig, so you can have enough for whatever you need, as well as jot pads that are card game or um, card sized. <laughs> so you can fit them in the Cuba Majigs as well. You can keep them alongside your things and it's not going to uh, be too much of a hassle. It's not going to break the flow of anything or uh, be at risk of wrecking any of your cards because they're all the same size. And something else I'd like to show you guys really quick is how these interact with existing storage solutions. So if you already have something like an archive or, um, you know, like one of these deck boxes, the standard, you know, 75 sleeved cards deck box, uh, even one of these uh, smaller ones, uh, as well as fat packs. I just wanted to show you how these sort of work. I'll get these out of the way and I'll show you the archive first. So this is actually quite cool. We were surprised when we got this ready. Uh, one archive holds 20 of these packs very comfortably. There is a little bit of room, but I mean, if you have a deck box in here anyway, usually there is a little bit of play, um, but realistically, it's not too bad. Uh, it's still relatively snug and uh, 20 is a nice even number. It's very satisfying. For all of you 60 card players out there, uh, this solution is actually quite nice as well. Uh, so in one of these standard 75 sleeved card deck boxes, uh, we have a 60 card sleeve deck as well as one of the Cuban Majigs, and you can use that for you know, tokens uh, or your sideboard, depending on uh, what 60 card format you're playing. Uh, and it fits very comfortably in there, so that's a really elegant solution. Uh, for one of these little guys, uh, this fits three uh, or probably you know one plus, I would say probably 60 unsleeved cards. Um, this probably isn't the greatest solution for this, just because it is a little bit limiting in terms of space. But if you did need to um, like hand out three individual packs, you could actually use these tiny little duck boxes and just pass them out to people at the beginning of your cube night. And that would be pretty cool too. Uh, and then for fat packs, uh, it's actually pretty nice as well. Uh, so this is 10 here plus an additional two. Uh, so something that is nice, you could get uh, one full pack of uh, Cuba Majigs in here, as well as two, one for the Jota Majigs, the Jot Pads, and one for the Pencils. Um, or you could use, you know, one for tokens, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, and that's just in a standard fat pack, which I'm sure most Magic players have because they're very fun to open. All right, and that just about wraps up uh, our overview of the Cuba Majigs Series 2. Uh, thanks so much for watching the video. Um, we do want to mention that, of course, this is a sponsored video. They did reach out to us and offer to uh, pay us for this advertisement. Just want to make sure that that's all on the table. But this is also, uh, with that being said, this is a product that we knew about way before this Kickstarter, way before they even reached out to us, and we already liked this product. So we were very, very happy for them to reach out to us, very proud to you know show you guys is what this product is all about, because we do genuinely believe that it is a good product. If you guys do have any questions about the Cuba Majigs, uh, we'd be happy to answer any of them that you do have. You can either comment below or you can message us on Discord. We do have the physical boxes in our possession, so if you wanted any information about the dimensions of the product or anything like that, please just reach out to us and we'd be happy to clear those up for you. And as said before, we will have the link to the Kickstarter somewhere on screen here for you to look at, as well as down in the show notes. The link in the show notes will be a uh, referral link just to keep every Everything transparent as well, uh, but that'll be the way that Card Majigs knows uh, that you came from our video specifically. So be sure to show your spike pride and throw some spike dabs in the chat, because uh, I'm sure they would be happy uh, for any amount of support that you guys can give them. Uh, anyway, thanks again so much for Card Majigs for sponsoring this video, and we hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Hey, thank you for checking out the spike feeders on YouTube. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you close the window or you can click on this link to check out our other great videos.